so folks, as usual in some ways, old Donnie got up on a stage today and gave a horrific speech. But in other ways, it was delusional, deranged, and dangerous, even compared to his usual spouting BS. Because he was speaking at the NRA, and in addition to spouting absolute lunacy when it comes to the issue of gun violence and gun safety and ensuring that the American children are safe, even though Republicans refuse to do the single biggest thing they could do, which is control the friggin' guns, Donald Trump gave a bonker speech. And it's not just on that issue. So what I've done here is prepared a supercut watching the speech so you didn't have to. We're going to break it down after, but watch this all the way through. It's important that we see it. It's important that we understand how dangerous this man was, is, and will be should he ever get back into power, God forbid. And it's also important, after I break this down, you share this far and wide because people need to see Donald Trump unvarnished un you know censored because this is the fascist monster that wants to destroy the world our country has been chock full of guns for centuries and there was no talk of massacres of school children until around the year 2000 that's when it really started they started talking about it this is not a gun problem this is a mental health problem this is a social problem this is a cultural problem this is a spiritual problem Each and every one of these heinous attacks depend on the same cold-blooded calculation that the evil monster will have a window of time to act out their demonic fantasy unchallenged. They want to be unchallenged. They don't want challenge. The only way to stop these wicked acts is to ensure that any sicko who would shoot up a school knows that within seconds, not minutes, they will face certain death. They have to know that. And they won't be doing it. For this reason, I will ask Congress to repeal totally ineffective legislation that makes it harder to protect our schools and easier for criminals to face absolutely no opposition when they go in. I will also create a new tax credit to reimburse any teacher for the full cost of a concealed carry firearm and training from highly qualified experts. Who's better? Who's better? If even 5% of teachers, people that are skilled with arms, we want that, 5% were voluntarily armed and trained to stop active shooters, we would achieve effective deterrence and the problem would cease to exist. And that would be a lot of people. But these are all people that are trained and talented with firearms. For about $12 billion, we could fund armed security guards at the entrance to every school in America and also arm every willing teacher. We want to arm some of these teachers. They have to go through rigorous, or as some people say, vigorous. I like vigorous better. I don't like rigorous. They have to go through vigorous training, but they're already there. And they'll do better than anybody you could put in. And they love our children. They really love our children. And uh, if you take a look, this week's morning console poll, I led the field by 33 points with Trump 56, to Sanctus, 23, Pence, 5. I hope you gave Pence a good, uh, warm approval. Because, no, because he is, a, he is a nice man, if you want to really know the truth. He is. He's a good man. Uh, and I heard it was very rough. It's a big news story. You've made news today. I don't know what you did, but you made news today with, with the introduction you gave. And, uh, Nikki Haley, that's another, that's a beauty. She's at four, and Abbott's at one. I don't think Abbott's going to run. In a two-way poll of Florida last week, it was Trump 47 and DeSanctis 32 percent. And there was another poll in Florida where Trump was at 80 and DeSanctis was at 50, and that's a Florida poll. In Texas, it's Trump 52 percent, DeSanctis 20, Pence 5, Haley 4. Uh, you know, the only way we can lose is if we go prevent defense. Do you agree? Do you know what that means, right? In football, where they're holding the team to no score, and then they go prevent the last two minutes, and they lose the game. We will never go prevent. But you can take a look. We're led by stupid people. 
And let me tell you, we've never been in such danger in our life. They will be the 100 most ferocious crime fighters in American history, and I will task them with demolishing every gang, street crew, and criminal network they can find piece by piece until public safety is fully restored. And that means in Democrat-run cities. And at the top of the list is Washington, D.C. itself, which is absolutely plagued by numbers and crime that nobody's ever seen before. We've never seen anything like what's happening in Washington, D.C. Can you imagine these foreign leaders coming over for, from countries and they're looking at this filth and squalor and crime in our capital? And I think we have to take it over. We have to take over management of our capital, because the people that are running, including the mayor, who did nothing about January 6th, he was the one, no, we don't need anybody, we don't need any help, along with crazy Nancy Pelosi. They did nothing. They did absolutely nothing. They were supposed to. They're in charge of it. But all of our Democrat-run cities are being absolutely ruined and destroyed as we sit here and talk. They're being ruined. I will order the eight now with the uh, prosecutors, these Marxist prosecutors who release rapists and murderers while persecuting conservatives. On day one of my new administration, I will direct the DOJ with a very strong leader, not like Barr, not like Bill Barr. What a disaster he was. He was a rhino. He was afraid of being impeached. Please, I don't want to be impeached. So how do you not get impeached? Don't do anything. You don't do anything. Remember, they were going to impeach him, and then all of a sudden, he actually said, no, he didn't see any wrongdoing in the election. Uh, my young son, very young, saw a lot of wrongdoing in the election. Did anybody in this room, can they say they didn't see any wrong? That was the worst horror show, I think, one of the greatest criminal acts ever, the election of 2020. But we will turn that around, and it'll be even bigger. We will use all necessary state, local, federal, and military resources to carry out the largest domestic deportation operation in American history. Through our Second Amendment, we will pass legislation protecting the absolute right to self-defense with federal penalties for prosecutorial abuse, like we saw just recently in Texas. You saw that where a man was trying to defend himself, and they want to put him in jail for the rest of his life. And I will ask Congress to send a bill to my desk to lure national concealed carry reciprocity. You want protection. Just like your driver's license or your marriage license, your Second Amendment must apply across state lines. It will. We'll get it done pretty quickly, too most dangerous time in the history of our country because of the power of weaponry. And I'm not talking about rifles now. You know what I'm talking about. The N-word. Can't use the N-word. Two N-words you can't use. You can't use the, the nuclear word. The power of these weapons is so — and I would never talk about it. I didn't talk about it. And now it's talked about every single day, including by Putin. I face down vile attacks from the radical left to confirm three great Supreme Court justices. You know who they are, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett, all outstanding people. They don't help me much, I got to tell you that. They vote against me too much, but one of those little things in life, right? They want to abolish your borders and impoverish your families while spending your money on endless and very, very stupid foreign wars. They want to demonize patriots and persecute Christians while pushing the transgender cult on your children. Children turn 25 and they say, who did this to me? Who did this to me? How did you let this happen? To convene an independent outside panel to investigate whether transgender hormone treatments and ideology increase the risk of extreme depression, aggression, and even violence. I think most of us already know the answer, don't we? 
Furthermore, we have to look at whether common psychiatric drugs, as well as genetically engineered cannabis and other narcotics, are causing psychotic breaks. A lot of problems. We're having problems that we've never seen before, and people sort of think they understand why. We must also be much better at detecting warning signs of evil, disturbed young men like the one who murdered colleagues in Louisville. We I don't have too much more to add, but that is dangerous stuff. This man is not hiding anything. Like, say what you will about him. He's not hiding his dangerous, vile, evil plans for America. And everyone will be harmed by this. In his approach to guns and whatnot, everybody will be harmed. Regardless of your background, everyone will be harmed. But in his approach here, he makes it especially dangerous for people of the LGBTQ community and immigrants and poor people, people with mental health issues. This is a man, you know, people of color. This is a man that wants revenge on the American people. If there's one thing I can convey to you, this is a man that wants a revenge tour, not just against specific political enemies, because he does want that, but against the American people themselves. He wants to punish every single one of you who is an American watching this for the audacity of not letting him win the last election, even though he lost by 7 million votes. Stop this monster and share this far and wide. People need to know how dangerous he truly is. And this is Trump without Fox and right-wing media cutting the most insane bits. This is who he really, really is.